Welcome to the Star! Hi, I'm Imogen. Today we're gonna talk about coronavirus in Germany, 2021, January, with the Barbocco. Let's go! So, Barbocco, tell me what's happening in Germany about coronavirus. Well, not a lot, as far as I know. We're in lockdown. It's just going outside with masks, don't do anything, like, stupid, I guess, and keep your distance. If you don't, you, you probably get fined, and pretty okay. much it, we just keep in our have, distance from each other. And have you heard anything about uh, double mutation viruses around different countries? For example, there's one in Brazil, Brazil, that must be yeah. Well, it's pretty normal for a virus to mutate, so I guess that was only a matter of time. But I haven't heard yeah. of anything specific. Do you think, since you've been, you've been on, inside your house for a long time, is it right? So now yes, it's been for almost 10 to so 12 long. years. 10 to 12 years. 12 years. So I'm, I'm guessing... Hmm. Since you haven't gone out for twelve years, I'm guessing the, the your you don't know your neighborhood how it looks like. I Maybe. kind of know from when I have to go outside for like doctor's appointments and stuff, but I honestly don't go outside a lot, so I don't know what's do going think, on. Do you might think that that coronavirus might have wiped them off or? Maybe, hmm? you know, removed from existence. Removed from existence? What do you mean by that? Ah, uh, because, you know, coronavirus doesn't, doesn't allow you to live longer. It usually kills you. I'm just wondering, <laughs> if you think the coronavirus has killed your neighbors or... Not that I'm aware Maybe. of. I mean, our neighborhood is usually pretty loud, so I would notice when someone's gone, probably. But I don't think anyone's got killed in the neighborhood because of coronavirus. I just Do know that Germany sense? does a poor job with having schools open and stuff. Do you, do you think viruses get, uh, they adapt their own psychology? based on the country they live. So, and what I'm actually asking you, do you think virus in Germany would become, would turn people into Nazi zombie? Because the history of Germany, you know, uh, no, it's famous for but death, I think, I think the virus has to work a lot more stronger here because Germans are pretty antisocial to begin with. So we usually don't even go to each other or near each other. Because we hate each oh. other. Oh. Interesting. So, mm -hmm. you could say, actually, that there could be a less spread of the virus since German, German people hate each other. Yeah. Usually, I would say so. Because even if you uh -huh. sit in a bus and there's no space, but only one next to another person, you would stand anyways. Because you don't want to sit next to another person. Oh. I see. So it's, um, okay. Interesting. So uh, how, how is your daily life regarding coronavirus precautions? For example, how do you wash your hands? <laughs> Just like always, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I don't go outside, so nothing changed for me besides my doctor appointments being on time now because you have to have an appointment. And you can't be too late, but also not too early. And if you're on time, you just get it done with, and then you go out. So in that case, I think it even got a bit better to go to the doctor and stuff. I see. Because there's no waiting times. Because everyone has to be on point, or else they don't get their appointment. Interesting. We don't have that. You have to wait in line. <laughs> and, um... 
Uh, so yeah, so and what about your mom? What about it? <laughs> 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 what about my mom? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. What's going on with her? Well, she does her normal stuff. She takes precaution in taking her mask with her. She puts it on. But she goes outside like normal. What do you mean for precautions? What kind of precaution? Well, for example, not sneezing at each other, not breathing at each other. <laughs> uh. That kind of stuff. I, I thought you were thinking about contraceptive. <laughs> no. Ah. But by the way, um, is your father a zombie because of the coronavirus? No comment. <laughs> um, what about your cousin? Do you have cousins? Probably. I don't know him. That's good. And um, so tell me about um, what's the last city you have visited in Germany that wasn't affected by the coronavirus? When when are you thinking of moving out from your house? Because you know you need to Ooh. you need to find a job, and with the coronavirus, actually pretty soon right? we're already on it. Right. I'm already looking for a place, and we. Because I've been hikikomori for so many years, I even get assistance by a social structure to give me a person that helps me become independent. Oh, like so I can live on my own. Something like that, yeah. A social worker that helps me with daily life, helps me get to my appointments, help me um, get through life normally, learn how to do everything on my own. That kind of stuff. And how does this this social structure uh, and psychologist behave or takes precautions against coronavirus? Well, when she was here for the first talk, um, she wore her mask. We just had a normal talk. She sat on the other side of us, so we wouldn't get too close to each other. So just standard stuff. Oh, that's good. She's she's a nice. Corona person, it's good. <laughs> yes. And um, yeah. So uh, it's really hard to talk about coronavirus with a person who doesn't go out. I know, right? You should ask Pino about that. It's always interesting. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> how how is your life? <laughs> well, what life? <laughs> so I mean, yeah, that's, that's it. So it. I'm I'm pretty sure that uh, Deutsche Deutsche Jin. Uh, I mean, this Deutsche Jin uh, is pretty safe to talk to. So if you ever encounter a barbuck, you don't need even a mask. Which you want because, because... I don't go outside. <laughs> yeah. So barbuck, I understood that you don't go out. It's a, it's a good thing. Good job, barbuck. And I appreciate your mother, your father, your cousins, and all all those people that you will never meet in the future. Thank you. How can we improve democracy? That's just like... Thank you for watching! I hope you enjoyed this video! If you like it, please give us a comment and subscribe our channel! See you in next video!